right now we have a fireplace that isn't working and we're not really doing anything with and I thought it was a good opportunity to do a craft and share it with you guys and bring some fantastical elements into the room. There are a few supplies you are going to need. Just tape, scissors, and some paper. I had the good fortune that I had some scrapbook paper already. Feel free to use whatever kind of paper you want. You could use plain uh, construction paper. You could get creative with it and have it be different kinds of blues, purples, have it be different, you know, white, gray, and black flame if you want. Whatever you want to do with it, get creative. It's up to you and your personal style and whatever your preference is. As you can see, our fireplace has this. Uh, it's supposed to attach to a freestanding fireplace. So this is something I'm going to have to work around. Something I did before I started was I measured out the dimensions of the fireplace and then put it on the floor and kind of laid out a rough idea of what I wanted. I know I'm going to be using this as kind of a cornerstone for the whole project as far as what papers to use and how. I thought it would be more fun and make more sense to use a bunch of patterned papers. That way there's just more depth and dimension to it and a bit more magical, a bit more fun. If you're not comfortable freehanding the flames, feel free to just look up cartoon sketches of flame, fireplaces, candles, that sort of thing and then use that as a guide and a template to cut out the flame yourself and just draw it on the back side, of course, of whatever side you want. For instance, this is two-sided, and this is orange colored, this is more tan colored, so if I were to draw the outline of the flame on this, I would do it on this side because this is the side I want to use for the flame. Before you actually tape anything on, you're going to want to clean it off just give it a dusting. If there's any dirt or dust or anything loose on it, the tape will stick to that and not the actual surface, which means it will come loose with time and then it's just going to fall off. You don't need to do much, just paper towel, cloth, what have you, all-purpose cleaner or a duster, and just wipe it down. Do this before you start cutting things out so that way it has time to dry off. So now we're just gonna cut it. FYI, it's going to take more paper flame than you think. This is what I ended up with. Overall, I am happy with it, so we don't just have a boring black piece of metal anymore. That's pretty much all there is to it. You just cut out the flames, tape it to the surface, and layer it appropriately. Thank you for watching. What are you doing?